Audrey, it's Sunday, July 31st. It's Harry Potter's birthday. Pottermore beta registration is now open. I did not get in today because by the time I woke up, all of the slots had been filled. I'm not happy about this, but I have six more days left. As for the question you asked me last Sunday, but I did not answer, I just did some research. And it turns out that because um, males and females are generally the same, the only times we're different is when we have to be for reproduction and stuff, is that guys have nipples just because girls do. And there wasn't an evolutionary disadvantage to it, so the gene didn't disappear. So you're going to Canada to look at colleges and stuff this week. I hope that's fun. I personally wouldn't want to go to Canada. It is 90 degrees outside and I am wearing a blanket. Partially because it's not 90 degrees in here. But yeah, cold weather, not fun for me. So as for this YouTube project while you are away, it's really not your fault that you can't have a camera or internet access. So if any of the hotels you're staying in has a computer, post something. It doesn't, like, if they don't have a camera, then just upload a image saying this is my video for the day. If it doesn't have a computer, that's fine. I'm not going to punish you for going to look at colleges and trying to figure out your future and stuff. It's more than I'm doing right now. So if you can, post something. Post it. If you don't, I might just continue making videos three times a week if I can think of good ideas. Otherwise, I'll just leave it blank. Okay, so that's you. What about me? I'm going to see a play this week on Thursday. It's As You Like It by Shakespeare, except with Star Wars. I have no idea how that's going to work, but I have some friends who are in it, and it sounds super awesome. That oh, so so this is cool. Did you know that so there's a lot of humans that have weird superstitions and whatever, like you tap three times on the outside of an airplane before getting on, or walking under ladders is bad and give you seven years of bad luck or whatever. Now turns out pigeons have superstitions too. There it was reading about it in the Believing Brain, and they they gave the the bird this button to to peck at. And the button supposedly dropped food into the cage, but really the food was dropping at random. So the pigeon would remember whatever it was doing right before the food dropped, and then it would keep doing that. So it developed all these little superstitious rituals it would do in hopes of getting food. So yeah, pigeons with religions. Corny phrase. That's the title of the video. Audrey, I will maybe see you Tuesday, but you're leaving Tuesday, so I don't know if you're going to be able to get a video up that day. If you don't, then I'll see you when school starts. <laughs> Gotta kind of miss this vlog during the school year. I, mean, I won't have time to make videos, but yeah. <laughs>